Well, first it was Subi now. Frio has shown its true colours on the eve of the footy finals, paving their streets in purple. Sarah Polanski is down there in the Port City this morning. Sarah, finals fever, have you caught the bug? Oh, I think I may have, Tim. There's plenty of, of fine spirit going on down here at the Cappuccino Strip in Fremantle this morning. A stack load of cars have driven past me with people yelling out their support for the Fremantle Dockers. And as you can see alongside me, the road has been painted purple for the third time in a row. And of course, pe plenty of businesses have kitted out their shop fronts with flags and streamers. But I'm told there is still more signs of support to come around Fremantle and to tell us more. I'm joined by Brad Pettit, Mayor of Fremantle. Good morning, Brad. How Good are morning. you? Good uh, morning. Very well. Very excited, actually, with the finals coming up. with a real buzz around Freer at the moment. Now, the city of uh, Subiev appears to have stolen your thunder a bit. They've uh, painted Rockaby Road yellow and blue. How do you fear, feel about being a bit of a trendsetter? Oh, look, um, Freer was very proud to kind of paint the purple road leading, leading to the finals. Um, I'm not sure Subi's yellow brick road will quite uh, do the same thing, but in this case, because uh, I think it's Docker's year this year. <laughs> now, there has been a little bit of concern a few years ago when you painted the, the road, the, the paint actually washed away. Is this, we are expecting a bit of rain. Are we going to see this happen this week at all? Yeah, a couple of years ago when we did do it, it did wash away the very next day after we did use chalk paint. So this year we've gone for a more of a robust paint um, to make sure that it certainly stays around for at least the finals and beyond. <laughs> Now, many businesses are getting on board. They've kitted out their shop fronts. Uh, why is this and what else can we expect to see around Fremantle? Yeah, the Frio has really, it's, it's fantastic. The businesses are absolutely behind it. There's a real sense of purple fever around, around town. And um, so from shop fronts, um, we're going to be obviously painting the road purple and after that, new banners going up around the city. I hope within a few weeks as the finals progress that Frio will just be awash with purple. All right, and um, I can imagine, you know, in 2013 you had 40,000 people cram into these streets, so I'm sure there'll be plenty to expect if we, there is a grand final here. Yeah, without wanting to jinx it in any way, cause there's always, a, but there, we certainly are planning um, on uh, with great hope that the, that the Dockers do, do make the grand final. And once again, if they do, we're having a huge street party down here um, with uh, massive screens closing off the cappuccino strip here. Um, Esplanade Park will be a family friendly zone with a big screen down there as well. I mean, we expect that um, it might even be bigger than 2013, which was wow. probably the biggest year we ever had. Amazing. And of course, Tim, still more tickets available for the Dockers game. They are only restricted viewing tickets. And at 12 pm today, there will be tickets available for the Eagles and the Dockers game. But of course, these are just uh, tickets that, aren't, that weren't sold to uh, corporates. So only a few hundred of those will be available. So if you want to get along to those games this week, weekend you've got to get in quick Tim. They will be snapped up in a hurry I'm sure. Thank you very much Sarah.